evil Decepticons have invaded the Earth. I have battled this menace throughout time and space. If we don't stop them, they'll destroy your world. My name is Optimus Prime, and I come from a planet called Cybertron. Cybertron was once a beautiful sunlit world, a place of peace and joy. But thousands of years of warfare turned my home into a cold, battle-scarred shell of the beautiful paradise I once knew. As our battles rage beyond our planet, countless worlds have been caught in the crossfire. If we don't stop the Decepticons here and now, the Earth will be destroyed. I can't let that happen. The people of Cybertron are called Transformers. We are a race of living robots with the unique ability to change our forms. Though our bodies are made of durabilium steel, the hardest metal in the galaxy, we share the same thoughts, feelings, hopes and dreams that most human beings do. Can you understand me? You. Transformers come in countless different shapes and sizes. Some Transformers are tiny. Oh, you're hot, but you ain't so bright. Others are huge. <laughs> and some are truly gigantic. All Transformers have the ability to disguise themselves as other things, so they can blend into any environment or travel over any kind of terrain. Some turn into cars, or trucks, motorcycles, or construction equipment. There are even those who turn into helicopters and speedboats. And on some planets, Transformers take the form of wild animals, or even dinosaurs. In fact, a Transformer can turn into anything they can scan, just by copying the object's data into their format files. Whoa! Oh, sweet! Oh, dude, I hope this guy's got asteroid insurance, because he is so bold. What is that? In the tree, dude. No, you There's something in the thing by the tree. Did you guys just give me a space rock? Transformer rescans, they change form. And sometimes I have trouble recognizing even my own men, like Hotshot here. Of course, I've had quite a few different looks over the years myself. But inside, I'm still the same Optimus Prime. A Transformer will usually scan a new form when they first arrive on a planet so they can fit in with the local machines and not attract too much attention. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Some Transformers' sense of style isn't exactly subtle. And certain Transformers are just looking to cause trouble. As I said, Cybertron has been plagued by endless warfare. A war that started when a group of Transformers decided to take over the planet and run things their way. They called themselves Decepticons, and they ruled the planet with an iron fist, 
crushing anyone who stood in their way. A handful of brave Transformers decided to fight back. We called ourselves Autobots. We were few in number at first, but our ranks grew quickly as more and more Transformers joined the fight for freedom. After a mighty struggle, we regained control of Cybertron. We had the Decepticons on the run. But that only made them more desperate. Desperate enough to attack the Energon grid that protected Cybertron. B-127. Sorry, I'm late. Hit a little traffic. Uh, Optimus. Decepticons. Attack. Autobots, fall back. Get to the tower! Destroy the launch pad! Let none escape! Cybertron has fallen. Get to the escape pods. There are other Autobots scattered across the galaxy. We must reach them if we hope to survive. Optimus, this is our home. We have to fight for it. We will fight on, but we must find refuge first. I found a planet that's well hidden. Earth, you will travel there and establish a base for us. Once we've gathered the others, we'll join you. You must protect the planet. If the Decepticons find it, then our people are truly finished. Now go. <laughs> Soldier, I'll buy you some time. Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, has already arrived on Earth. His hunger for power is insatiable. I won't rest until I see him destroyed once and for all. And I know he feels the same about me. You turned your back on Cybertron. Now you will watch Earth die. Megatron seems to change forms like a race bot changes tires. But with every rescan, he only grows more twisted and evil. You have no soul. That is why I have no fear. There was a time when Megatron actually seemed to care about the Decepticons under his command. Now, all he cares about is power. Without the talisman, we cannot find the staff. And he doesn't care who he destroys to get it. So weak.
Megatron doesn't accept defeat gracefully either. When we discovered that this might be the key to saving many worlds, including Earth, my team risked their lives to win it fair and square. But fair isn't in Megatron's vocabulary. a lot of amazing technology to help us succeed in our mission. enough energy to power a small city on Earth. But when that power is augmented by an ancient power source like a cyber key or a minicon, those energy readings go off the scale. You think these little chains can hold? Cyber keys contain a tiny portion of the power at the core of Cybertron itself. Minicons are small helper robots with big power. Me up some ding dongs, darling. Join there for a screen man ding dongs. I'll be in storage.
Are you getting this? I think they're hacking the network again. Uh oh. a direct match to the signal in Qatar. Are you running a diagnostic? Should I be? Yes, you should. So I am. As devastating as plasma cannons and proton missiles are, some of the most powerful weapons in the universe are swords. But remember, even these ancient and powerful weapons are only a means to an end. Power for its own sake is meaningless. What's important is the battle between good and evil, between life and destruction. To save the Earth, we must defeat the Decepticons by any means necessary. Oh, I am Nemesis Prime. You are nothing. Lightning 4 has visual on Optimus. Right! Right, stop! Right, you can't stop! Please, don't do it! Look at me, Prime! What are you doing? It's me! Prime! Can't do this! since Cybertron fell. We Autobots believe that any weapon becomes more powerful when it's used in the cause of justice. There's one weapon in the Autobot arsenal the Decepticons don't have, teamwork. I can count on each of my teammates 100%, just like they can count on me. Whether it's backing each other up on the battlefield, punk ass Decepticon, or literally joining our power together to fight as one. As long as we can rely on each other, we will win. That's leadership. Or brainwashing or something. No. That's Optimus Prime. Megatron, kill her!
I think we've beaten Megatron, he returns more corrupt and horrible, with even more evil plans to destroy the universe. But I have faith in my team. And I know that each ally that we make, each new friend that we meet, will make us stronger and bring us closer to that final victory. Join us in the fight to save the Earth from Megatron's evil. Together, we cannot be defeated. Autobots, transform and roll out! Transform!
Quicker, quicker. Who cares if one more light goes? 